A mega force is investigating nearby ruins with a scientist in tow. Let's call him Susan. Oh, well, maybe I'm urinating a little bit. All right. Hey, you guys think you're safe from the cyborg commando? You sure as hell ain't, but I will crouch a little bit once I get up here. You stealth. If cyborg soldiers see you, they'll execute the hostage. Well, when you say that, like that, I don't think you know what you mean. Okay. You saw nothing. I want to get down. Oh shit, there's another dude right there. Oh no. I was hoping that. Uh oh, I might be in a bad position. Okay. I might have to be quick. Oh shit. We'll see. Cause I don't know how many people are there. If there are two people like chilling out over there, I'm in a little bit of a bit of a trouble. Uh trouble spot. Is he got a oh he's got a fucking pillar in front of him. Shit. Okay, well I can't do anything about that. Hey! Step out a little bit. No, 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 no! Oh, thank god. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. I don't know what I'm sh I should be doing. These guys are so really tightly packed that the only thing I can think of doing is dropping down on that guy right there and just annihilating everybody one by one. Damn it! He had to move! The problem is that, like, they're so close together that if I even try and kill someone with the stealth pistol, it doesn't really do much. So, we're gonna have to go in there. Guns are blazing, boy! Yeah! What's up? Did they. Oh, hell no! You ain't gonna kill my scientist! This guy is mine, baby! Mm -hmm. Alright. Everything will be okay. You're alive, right? Yes, you are. Oh, blood dragon egg. No, I learned my lesson last time. You're, not, you're being talked to last. Can I shoot this? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, so I guess that's how I'm gonna have to end, end up handling all the situation. I thought this pistol was going to be like a one-shot kill, uh, but it's actually not. Although I was surprised that I was able to run out like that and take out the first dude without being spy at all. That was a very surprising thing. Alright, grab these things. As long as they're set up in a way where I can take out the dudes defending him first, I think I can handle everything else. Because they, 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 like, they want to shoot him, but they have to kill me, you know, because I'm in front of him, right? I'm your body meat shield. Pew. You've done a good thing saving my genius. Success desperately saving Susan. Oh yeah, now I can buy semi-auto uh, shotgun. This was actually would have been a lot more helpful because this is like one shot. <laughs> and I have to wait, yeah. Maybe I should go to the dam. Nah. I'm gonna clear up this area, these areas up here, and try to kill like nine different animals. I mean, there's a few. There's, we killed the cheetah, we killed the cassowary, we killed a blood dragon, so we gotta kill this thing over here. Oh, look at all the TV sets. I'm gonna gather those too, just because you know they actually do something, like really great. In comparison to the other collectibles in Far Cry 3, uh, the collectibles they did do something, but you know they made, they were like, you had to get like 80, 60. I wouldn't, no, I ain't got, ain't no one got time for that. You just gotta go in, get like eight, boom. This, these aren't so bad. Oh shit! Uh huh. 
Well, at least I'm alive. Whoever thought this was fun, I'm gonna collect your head and put it on my wall. <laughs> hey, at least they can joke about that whole shit. Collectibles aren't fun, but they can be useful, and that's the only thing that balances it out. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> there we go! Let's see how you like this Gatling laser rifle! <laughs> Do you hear fire? Oh! Jesus! That would explain it. Alright. Hey, fella! You just... You just... You just... Fell down with your car. Uh... That's not how you drive cars. <laughs> so is that gonna blow up now? Okay, it shouldn't. I don't know if I really should just loot everybody. Look how many dragon hearts I have. Or not dragon hearts. Cyborg hearts. I can tell you that if I ever have a dragon situation, I'm not going to have a problem with them. Speaking of a dragon... I wonder how effective... The Gatling guns are against the dragon. Only one way to find out! We gotta lead him back here! Wait, how far is he? It doesn't show us on the map. Okay, fuck it. I'm going for the collectible instead. <laughs> Oh, I can just take a car. And to the left side of the car. Oh, wait. Nope, we should mark it on the map. That way we know where it is. Yeah, buddy! Is that an enemy car? That's an enemy car. Right, okay. Give me one moment. Uh. Mm -hmm. I probably could just press C or something. Hi! I think he's dead. But I don't know. You guys will have to be the, the the people to evaluate that later on. For now, I need to find this thing, which is apparently inside the cave below. Uh, which is okay with me. Fine, I can go down below. I like going down under. Oh, look. A blood dragon skeleton. That's, uh, that's not intimidating. Hmm, I got me a note. There we go. Charles notes. Or Ch Carlisle. Charlisle. I really don't know. Ch Dr. Charlisle's notes. Two of ten found. Do I get anything from doing that? Uh oh. Hey! Don't look at me like that. Oh, I got five of the animals killed? Oh, hell yeah. I'm only four kills away from being able to get lasers for my rifle. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Going for a little bit of a swim? There, I helped you out. Alright. What can I do here? Uh, now that I've killed those, I can go off and kill boars? Oh, ooh, cyborg sharks. Hmm. If I went up to kill the cyborg shark, I could get a VHS set. But I don't really care too much about the VHS set. VHS yet. Set just yet, so I'm not really sure. One thing I can do is quick travel, but we're so close to this base, I might as well take it on right now. Oh, hey, look! A boar! Well, that's embarrassing. Okay. Fixed it! <laughs> oh, shit, I only have three shots for my sniper rifle. Oh. oh, well, at least they have money on them. I don't know where they got, like, six dollars, but hey. Oh, we got explosive rounds So the sniper rifle! Awesome! Whoa! Not that I really know if explosive rounds are worth it, but you know what? They'll do a lot of damage against, um... Against blood dragons, I'm sure. It's like, oh man, he's shooting a laser at me. Poof. Oops. Killed him in one shot. <laughs> Alright, they're shooting at something? No, that's just a zip line. Alright. Let's mark, start marking some people down. That's a special dude. That's not a special dude. Actually, we can look at the top. Oh, uh, that's a close range specialist. And everyone else will probably be foot soldiers. Oh, car. Hmm. 
Just trying to see if there's any snipers. Uh. Oh, damn. I was hoping they'd leave. I can't just, like, jump in there immediately, but what I can do... Oh, I can't zoom in right now. Shit. Surprise. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Goes the wiener. Got him. Awesome. All right. So while I might not have... While I might not have the ability to zoom in, I was able to kill that guy. And later on, once I have more ammo, I probably would have just been able to kill everybody else. Scanning. New objective located. Eliminate all enemies before proceeding. No problem. Where's the bow? <laughs> we had a bow for a while, and I don't know where it went. It just kind of disappeared. It's a bow. Seriously, if you need a description of what a bow does, maybe you should stop playing. Maybe read a dictionary. People who don't know what a bow, what bows are get shot in the eyeballs. But a bow is in the future. You're whining. That's why we put neon on it. Because neon is the future. Hence, this bow is of the future. <laughs> okay, I really like the guy who writes the shit. Alright, what, 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 what is this? It's a, it's, it's a given that this handgun is awesome. With its kick-ass muzzle flash and three-round burst fire. That's like a mule kicking enemies with, in Chucky's. Or like, that's like a mule kicking... Er, yeah, that's like mule kicking enemies in Chucky's. The gun was built and named in honor of a fallen DPD cop who fell in line with the line of duty fighting the creeps of the Detroit mega slums and just industrial wastelands. Okay, all right. Phasertron. You'd think that right out the box, something called the Phasertron would fire something cool, like laser beams or honey badgers. But no, this assault rifle shoots plain old bullets until you upgrade to shoot deadly beams. Now you're thinking, fuck, I wanted to fire honey badges that have had their nuts flicked with wet towel. Why'd you screw up my expectation? <laughs> expectations like that? Because. You bastards. I literally said that the Phasertron sounds like it would shoot lasers. And they're like, oh, well, you probably think it should fire laser beams. Ugh. All right. You know that burning sensation when you sometimes go... Wait. You know that burning sensation you sometimes get when you go to the bathroom? Now imagine that happening right through the skull. That's what happens when you put this rifle in the hands of a really good sniper. Put it in the hands of a bad sniper, though, and you're wasting ammo shooting around some clueless sentry who's turning around saying, I thought I heard something. <laughs> uh, yeah, Galleria 1991. When it comes to shotguns, people throw around terms like stopping power and corridor clearing. But the truth is, it, uh, the truth, it's a great weapon to feel like an awesome prick. No, scratch that. The god of awesome pricks. You don't have to be some 20 something douche looking to go from douche looking to go from zero to hero to save his grody friends. Just grab a shotgun because nothing says I belong to the world like two barrels to the face. <laughs> Maybe somebody else's face. All right, grenade. Also known as the Island of Spice. This beautiful Caribbean island is a global destination for tourists looking to sample her ecotourism in beautiful beaches and nightlife filled with beautiful calypso and reggae music. That's Grenade the country. Grenades, on the other hand, explode. You fucking throw them and say dumb like, say something dumb like, Grenade out, and then they blow up. Mala talks. Optimists see the bottle as half full. Pessimists half empty. But a rare few will see an incendiary device capable of flambeing enemies faster than you could say crambule. We call these fine folks visionaries. The original Molotov's cocktails were invented during the Spanish Civil War and named by the Finns after the Soviets invaded Finland. Frankly, ever since then, the Finnish have been coasting by on that win. <laughs> C-400. C-400 is the latest in plastic explosives, created by the kindergarten teacher who discovered that cheap clay exploded when exposed to sweat and children's laughter. C-400 has since become a disappointment worldwide. It continues to sell, however, due to the a really aggressive marketing campaign and a catchy jingle involving fat laughing children sweating, the undi their sweating to the oldies. Creepy. Sweet. Alright, can we watch these TV sets? No, it's just, it's just a TV set. Alright, well, hey, at least we have four of them. Eventually we'll make our way up to the double barrel shotgun. Alright, what about the VHS tapes? None. The VHS tapes probably don't do anything either, actually, which is stupid, but oh well. Uh, Dr. Carl's notes. Completed my, 
completed my reg uh, completed my regular five mile run this morning and are ready to and ready to continue the research on the blood dragons alongside the beautiful intelligent doctor darling we know dr darling wait there we go dr darling the island is a cop cornucopia of unique plants and animals seen nowhere else in the world I can't wait to experiment on them, and Col uh, Colonel Sloan seems very eager for the results of the blood of the, dr the dragon. Mm. Did it ever occur to you that, I don't know, Colonel Sloan's a little bit of a loop head? I mean, it occurred to Dr. Darling. But okay, scientists. Scientists have been making the world interesting since the first caveman discovered hair could burn. Without scientists, villains would throw rocks at people's heads, and throwing someone how 2 plus 2 equals 4 would get you burned at the stake as a witch. Scientists not, not only enrich lives, they help blow it up in really interesting ways. Why? Because physics. P.S. Don't kill them. <laughs> okay. And what about the Omega Force? Oh, can we look at the end? No, no, we already did. Uh, factions, a mega force. When you're among the best, dying for your country means coming back as a super deadly cyber commando. You've got killer skills, the deadliest toys, and a buff chrome finish that would make muscle cars sweat. The downside? Your love of kittens and crotchet has been swapped for Sloan's combat subroutines and a su suicidal loyalty to a man with less self control than a child star who hit puberty. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Oh. Nobody knows where blood dragons come from, but it's a firm middle finger of humanity that adds a rung to the top of the food chain just outside our reach. These mysterious, almost alien beasts are heavily armored, their blood is a mutagen, they have excellent hearing, and they shoot fire from their eyes. I mean, sure, the dragons are nearly blind, but what do they care? They shoot fire from their eyes! And I think that's the last one I'll read for now, just because, you know, I want to move on. Alright, but from their eyes! Oh my god. Now, can I shoot through this stupid thing? I can, actually. Okay. Oh my god. Oh shit. Hey, 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 fellas! One moment! God, you guys activated that alarm quick! Is it automatic or some shit? Oh boy. Healing up! There we go! Just reload the gun. Just reload the gun. Oi! I know you're a close range specialist, but that doesn't give you a fucking, like, Field day to end up tearing me apart. Oh boy. He didn't even give me any ammo for that. That disappoints me. Oh well. What's not gonna disappoint me is your death, baby. Yeah. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh hell nah. Hold up. Rival time, baby. Is that guy still in there? Yes, he is. Shit. I'm in the worst position ever for this stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe, maybe you're just gonna die then, asshole. There we go. Hi! What are you doing there, buddy pal? You shouldn't be playing with toys you don't know how to use! You son of a f Okay, we're good! No, we're not good! We're not good! Run! Run! We're on fire! We're on fire! Ah! You little piece of shit! He knocked my ass to the ground, and that's terrible. Oh well. Can we disable this normally? Oh, you just had to shoot it. Okay. Hey! How's it going over there in Flameland? Yeah, you know, that's a really... Okay, I'm sucking at this, but it's okay. I forgive myself. Does that mean you have to forgive me? No, but it's, it's alright. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that shit. What I will do, however, it's Catalan time, baby! Oh, what's that? You've got a dude running at me with a Volotov? Yeah, he didn't last very long. And about this guy, he's like, oh, I've got a flamethrower. I'm gonna melt those goddamn panties off your head, baby. Oh, sh <laughs> and I got the headshot points too. That's fantastic. All right. Hey, gotcha. Oh, he's got a driver. That's cute. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> That's the money shot. Boom, baby. That shit is ours. I like how it goes from like a widespread like red light to a thin green light. Like is it necessary to make the light thin at the same time? I'm not sure. But alright, I guess now we're getting ammo from these guys. How many you usually you pick up the ammo from these uh, dudes without having to loot them, but Or maybe that guy did have just the thing next to him. 